Welcome back everyone, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw the T-Rex from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom roaring at the lion from that very special scene at the end of the movie. And yeah, today is day 16 of our dinosaur drawing marathon. So yeah, get out your paper, pencil, and eraser and we will get started. So let's map out our drawing across our page. First we're going to put in a little bit of this artificial mountain. The line's going to be right about there where I put that oval. So the line is at a zoo, so there's going to be a moat right about here. Looks like there's like a, a fence back there, so you got to put that in. There's some foliage, some trees. T-Rex is going to be taking the the main stage of this picture. It's enormous. It's really dwarfing the lion in this picture. Big oval there for the body. It's, just, it's like leg is like as huge, as large as the lion's body. That just shows how huge it is. It's going to have this leg stretched back. This one's going to be a little bit forward to help give it some balance. Jaws are going to be open. We're just mapping the drawing out, making sure the proportions are somewhat correct. It's going to be on a lower pedestal of ground. We actually don't see this back foot. See, I know a lot of you guys have requested this, so I'm so excited to be making a tutorial on it. See, so yeah, anyways, T-Rex is huge. I might make the size of the lion a little bit bigger for all of those of you who are cat lovers. Okay, so, yeah, we have the nice T-Rex put in. There's going to be a few more cliffs and trees and stuff, and it looks like there's, like, a, a lift or something in the background. Like some sort of ride, but <laughs> that 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 is not very important in this drawing. The main thing is the T-Rex and the line. Okay, so I think our outline is pretty much complete. Let's move on to the next stage. Okay, so let's. let's read. In this picture, the line is almost silhouetted, so you don't have to worry too much about the the facial features. It does have like a triangular nose. Yeah, I don't want to make it look like a cartoon, so. <laughs> Let's just make it pretty much all shaded in. Let me get a shading pencil. Something a little darker. Especially the main area is going to be shaded in. So we are going to see some of its snout there. Yep, yeah, the main idea is to get a nice silhouette of the lion showing. That is the main idea. <laughs> There's so many lion puns out there. Okay, so let's put in the lion's tail. Put the little tuft at the end there. I know most of you guys are here for the T-Rex. Yeah, I thought it would be fun to make it a complete drawing, you know. So we got his back, his hind legs there. It's not looking too bad. Making it silhouetted is good because yeah, the image is so blurry. So it's got like this front leg forward and we've got the other one tilted back there. And yeah, we've got a bunch of rocks we've got to put in. So I'm doing is just making like this cliff type of rock, which you gotta make it look organic, you know, you can't make it look man-made. But basically there's lots of vertical and horizontal lines and you just sort of mess around and create something that looks somewhat realistic. And then of course you could always take out a smudger and just add some more gray color to the rocks to make it nice and shaded in. So this mountain's going to fade off and get a little smaller, mainly because of perspective, not really because it gets smaller. Yeah, this is a big zoo. I'm guessing it's California. 
That's what I'm thinking. Because I think the island that they were planning to take the dinosaurs to was off the United States. It's off the west coast, I believe. Okay, so we got this rock put in. I'll shade it a little bit more here with this muncher. But our lion is pretty much complete. Let me just erase a few of the mistakes I've made. There are some trees up here, so let's put those in. They look like they're some type of fir tree. Put that in like so. Maybe with the shading pencil it'll look better. The mechanical pencil's got such a thin tip. Like so. That looks pretty good. Okay, so the line in this section is pretty much done. Let's add in the lower wall. So this is like a wall to prevent the line from getting to the other side. And I would assume there's water down there, or some sort of moat. At least that's what I see in a lot of zoos. This reminds me of the Mosasaurus tutorial I did a while ago, where we did a whole scene. They're always kind of fun to draw a whole scene. It does take a bigger time commitment. Okay, so for this wall, I'm not going to add too much detail because I don't want to take away attention from the main focus of our drawing, which is the T-Rex and the lion. But yeah, I'll just put some simple lines here, like so. And the reference image really cuts off right about here. So if you want to, you could put in like boundary lines for your drawing, you know, like I often do that. So you, so you know where to draw and where to cut things off. So that, those were gonna be my boundary lines that I just put in there. Okay, so now we got some trees to put in the background there and a fence. So there's like a yeah, it's like a fancy looking fence made out of metal or something. Yeah, probably metal. So let's put that in. Um, if you have a piece of paper, I would highly recommend, recommend you use that when doing straight lines. I don't, I'm not going to use one right now. But yeah, like to use as a ruler when you're drawing a straight line. It'll make your drawings look much better. Okay, so let's put in all these bars. So here's where like the ledge of the, that the T-Rex is standing on is going to come into play. Yeah, the fence continues. So this is like the outside fence of the lion habitat. At least that's my best guess. Like so. Okay, so the, yeah, the concrete moat thing basically ends right about here, then squares off. So like, if you haven't noticed already, this part is curved. And then the wall hits right here. And then takes like a pretty much a 90 degree turn. So I wonder where visitors would get to see the line. Maybe they're over here at this viewing point. That's another of my guesses. <laughs> it's always fun to wonder things like that when you're drawing a scene. And yeah, the, yeah, this wall definitely comes in and connects to that wall. Or it might might possibly end here, and this is actually behind it. So that also could be the case, you know. But this is like the lines like on an island. Okay, that makes more sense. That's what I think it is. So this, this wall we're seeing here is actually behind this one. This one probably curves around and back. Okay, so I've just been enlightened, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to change things up a bit. I'm just going to make this back wall a little bit darker now that I think I understand what's going on in this picture. Okay, we'll darken that up. Maybe add a little bit more of these mundane lines. I know everyone's dying to get to the T-Rex, but yeah, 
making the surroundings look good is equally important. So again, I'm smudging. I'm going to do smudge. Okay, that looks pretty good for our wall. It always adds some more detail to these rocks. I mean, drawing rocks is basically like drawing fossils since fossils are rocks and rocks are fossils. So it should be very entertaining. No, just kidding. Um, okay, let's let's move on to the to the trees. So we got some trees going on here in the background. Different types of trees. This is like a conical type of tree, probably an evergreen, a holly of some sort. Then we got some, I don't know, just random regular trees, I guess. Trees that are probably not oak trees, you know, but like the, those classic trees, the ones whose leaves fall off in the fall time. So I'm going to put some of those in. Again, not making them too dark. You don't want to attract too much attention from our T-Rex and our lion. And if this is based off of a real zoo that, that's actually a, like around, please leave it in the comments below. Like if you know the name of the zoo that this scene was based on. Because I have no, no clue what zoo this was. So yeah, there's foliage all the way back here. For foliage, you just sort of mess around with your pencil. I don't really have any great tips on how to do that. Like on how to do trees and stuff with pencils. Surprisingly, trees are really easy to draw with oil paints. Like, seriously, really easy. And right now I'm just considering, yeah, darkening the fence up a bit. So, we can actually see it. Because it was blending too much with the foliage. So I'll go ahead and darken that. So this is the viewing platform there, and somehow the T-Rex got onto this little island of rock. Okay, good news guys, I think we can start a T-Rex. Oh wait, one more thing. <laughs> Let's add in the... The name is Cave Trainer right now, but what this is called. This is, I guess it's a tram ride. That, is that what it's called? It's not a ski lift, is it? No, I don't think it's a ski lift. Yes, yeah, I think it's probably a tram ride. This is definitely a big zoo. So yeah, put in that tram that's going out, up that line. So we'll be able to see some of the line through the trees there. Yeah, that's a, a, a little cool feature that you should definitely add. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> okay, so I'm just zooming up on the T-Rex's head now which is what we're going to draw next. The part everyone's been waiting for, the face-off between two kings, the king of the jungle and the king of the dinosaurs. Okay, so let's start off with the amazing, beautiful jaws of the T-Rex. Let's make a curved line like so. T-Rex has such a unique, like, head and jaws. That, so the experienced dinosaur person, you can easily tell it apart from other carnivorous dinosaurs. Yeah, unexperienced dinosaur people think all carnivorous dinosaurs look the same. The yeah, T-Rex has a very distinct shape to its jaw. Then, if the artist captures it right, then everyone will know it's a T-Rex. So that's what we're trying to do right now. The T-Rex is also somewhat silhouetted, so I'm afraid we are going to have to add a lot we're, we are going to have to add a lot of color. See, so yeah, we can't really see the eye that well. But I'm assuming it's right about there. You definitely can see the, the brow ridge there. Let's color in this whole cavity area. The eye cavity is quite dark, like very dark, in the reference image. 
but I can barely see if the Tyrx's eye is open or closed, I'm not sure. So I'm make this very much silhouetted. There is some light that's caught on the tip of the snout here. So we can put in the nostril there. And a little bit on the top of this ridge. But other than that, we can't see much else in the T-Rex's head. We do see the teeth though, so that's a very important thing to put in. So let's put in those banana teeth. Then we got that muscle that opens and closes the jaw. Putting in the bottom jaw right now. Trying to make it the right length. I think that looks about right. And we are going to be able to see a little bit of the bottom of the bottom jaw. Which means we should be able to see a little bit of the inside of the top jaw from this rare angle. So that's why we're going to shade in between these teeth. Very carefully, you don't want to mess up your dinosaur teeth. And then we'll add the second row of teeth, which will be dark, like darker than that row that we're looking at right now. So don't rush through it. Go carefully and slowly. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's add some of the bottom teeth now. I think with the bottom teeth, we're only really going to be able to see one side. Let's put in the tongue. So it'll be somewhat shaded in. So there we have our nice T-Rex head. Let's get out a shading pencil and yeah, really add some color to the to the bottom jaw. Okay, so our T-Rex head looks pretty good. Definitely the right size. At least you know, if we're going to be accurate to what it looked like in the movie, it's the right size. I think it might be a little bit smaller in proportion to a lion in real life, but yeah, this is what it looks like in the movie. Okay, so T-Rex has this very massive neck, which is very thick. and somewhat bumpy on the top here. But again, this is mostly silhouetted. So you want to put some of the main lines in, which would be like these veins. Then after that, you can pretty much shade most of it in. Of course, you want to shade it in with care. You can't just like, you know, cross hatch your way through. You want the lines to be in the right direction. So have curved vertical lines for the neck and horizontal curved lines for the bottom. I'm going to try to leave as little white as possible because we are going for that silhouette look. Okay, good. we have a good neck and good jaws. Let's move on to the body. Well, yeah, and the, the arms. So we got this first T-Rex arm.
which is huge. I mean, maybe maybe the T-Rex is closer than the lion. But yeah, the T-Rex's arm looks about the size of the lion's whole leg. I might use my mechanical pencil for the claws. Let's put in the second. Second hand. And now I can put in the massive torso. And the leg looks huge in this picture. So it'll, yeah, especially the other leg on this side. So put that vein, make it nice and dark so it actually stands out even when we add all this shading. So we're adding a lot of shading to the underside of the belly. Now for the belly we can show a little bit of like the roundness and it almost looks like some of the ribs are showing in this picture. Maybe have a little bit of the shoulder blade there. So here you don't have to like necessarily make it completely black. I mean it could be like a grayish color. It's definitely going to be darker on the underside. But yeah, in this picture, it looks like the sun was rising, and that's why it's pretty dark. And the sun is behind them, so it's casting. Well, yeah, we're on the dark side of them. So if the camera guys had gotten to the other side, we possibly would have had a better reference image. So shame on the videographers for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. They should have gotten a shot from the other side. But I am planning to draw the close-up shot where you see the lion roaring from, it's like a shot from behind the lion and you see the T-Rex roaring at the lion. I thought that's going to be a cool, a cool tutorial to do. So be on the lookout for that, it's going to come out probably in the near future. Okay, so now we're going to put in that huge, huge thigh. Got an extremely muscular leg. Got to be able to carry that eight tons of Tyrannosaurus. I'm just gonna take my eraser and erase this area because I'm not pleased with how it looks. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, let's continue on with the leg. So, I'm, yeah, as you can see, I'm taking my pencil in different directions for different sections of the leg. So, we're separating the muscle using different strokes and also different pressure on the pencil. Um, this is like the quad muscles. Okay, so here we got the knee just going to be showing. It's not going to be bulging out too far. And then we have the the bottom portion of the leg, which is extremely thick. And just this portion of the leg probably weighs as much as the lion. <laughs> and then we're going to see part of the ankle. So right here we might as well put that in right away. There's like a, a slab of rock which is preventing us from seeing the amazing foot of T-Rex. But thankfully that rock is there because otherwise we have to draw the draw the foot. <clears throat> okay, so 
coloring in the calf right now. Okay, the light is looking very cool. I'm liking this this style of dark color. I'm pretty new to it. Like I've never really done a, like a T-Rex drawing where it's all black. Okay, so I think we should put in the other foot or the other leg, which is doing most of the balancing here. And we can't really see much of the thigh, but we see a lot of the calf and lower leg in general. And we do see part of the foot. So I might thin this up a tiny bit or just downsize it a little bit because it is further away than this than that bottom leg and then that bottom portion of the leg on this side so yeah, I'm going to downsize the one back here but we are going to put in some of the foot so put in the dew claw there Put in the, some of the big toes. Now, interesting thing, I did, haven't noticed this, but there are some light spots on the leg here. So I'll put those in, and there is a light spot on the knee, which we can't ignore. There are certain areas like that that the light is touching. Oh no, but if the light is touching it, does that mean it's part of the lion's kingdom? Because that's what Mufasa said, everything that the light touches belongs to the to the Lion King. And the light looks like it's touching the T-Rex. Whoa. oh <laughs> But yeah, T-Rex is challenging the throne right now. But knowing Jurassic World, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have a follow-up scene on this. I mean, it would be really, really cool if they did. But probably not. I mean, maybe, but... I feel like they're not always the best at listening to their fans. See, so yeah, and I'm just continuing these, this rock formation these different slabs of rock. And on different ones that are like, yeah, grass. So be sure to put in this grass on different layers here. Okay, so this rock is going to be kind of shaded in, or at least portions of it. It's going to be the same as the T-Rex. There will be parts the light is touching, but most of it is going to be, yeah, with a shadow. And I just realized our boundary lines were right about there. So that's good, because it's going to save us a little bit of time. Yeah, okay, let's just add some more color here. I'm 
might bring out my splinter for this, just to add some more greenness to the rocks. Okay, so now we can add in T Rex's tail. I bet a few of you guys were like, wait, we didn't finish the T Rex yet. <laughs> Why is he moving on to the rocks? So let's put in that huge tail. <sighs> Everything's huge about T Rex. It's a large dinosaur. But the tail is extremely important for the T Rex. It helps balance it. Because you see all this heavy head and that huge torso. I'm really going to add. Like, it's going to want to tip it over. So the tail really helps with the balance factor. Okay, so now I'm taking my pencil again. Curvy vertical lines. We're all very used to these curvy vertical lines at this point. Okay, so yeah, there's the, the border line that we cannot cross. And now we can, well, actually we're getting close to being done. This is amazing. I'm not exactly sure how we're doing on time, but yeah. So far, so good. I'm really liking how it's turning out. So here we got some steep rocks in the background. And these ones you can keep a little bit lighter. There's a lot more sun hitting these rocks. But also you don't want to take away from your T-Rex. I'd say the T-Rex and the lion are like the main main figures here. Not the rocks. Not the wall. And not the amazing yeah, tram ride there in the back. So, yeah, let me smudge a little bit here. I don't want to over smudge. Like, I've been using my smudger lately, but Personally, I don't like using it that much. I like the effect better of yeah, just putting more layers of pencil down than smudging. Smudging just has an unnatural look to it for some reason. At least that's what I feel. Yeah, so we're going to continue these rocks in the background. We got a lot of smudging to fix. And let's just erase some of this foliage. I may make this bottom jaw a tad bit longer. Like so. I just like how that looks better. And yeah, you could smudge a bit on your T-Rex on certain parts, but it don't take away too much from the beautiful strokes that we just put in with our pencil. I'm going to do a little bit of smudging in the background here. I wonder if it works for the trees. A little bit, I guess. Okay, let's switch over to a pencil. So there is a bunch of, like, bushy trees in the background here. Behind the, the fence there. So I guess we got to put those in. And there is a little bit of foliage behind the T-Rex that I guess we should also put in. So I'm just going to add some of these branches that are going up to the sky. And then just cover them with leaves. Nothing too fancy, you know. I sort of got like a modern art thing going on here. <laughs> modern art mixed with paleo art. <laughs> And there are a few things I want to clean up. I think that I'm not happy with how that ankle looks. Might downsize that a tiny bit. Try and see what else I could fix on this drawing. Maybe a little bit too dark on the knee there. If you want to add scales to your T-Rex, that would be phenomenal. I mean, let me just add a few to see what it would look like. 
I mean, it's not too noticeable, but, you know, if you actually took the time and put scales all over your dark T-Rex, that would look really cool. So, I'm just trying to see a few more places that where I could improve. I mean, I could spend all night on this dinosaur, but since it's getting late, and I should go to bed soon, I need to upload this video actually today, because... Yeah, it's a dinosaur drawing marathon and we can't miss a day. So I think I'm going to call it a drawing and sign my piece of artwork in the corner here. And yeah, let's just clean up with a little bit with the eraser. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. And yeah, check out my vlog channel. Really appreciate that. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.